Finals of TNT in blue at the bottom, DL Stitch in red at the top. What are we going to see here? Well, we'll see. What TNT played yesterday was based on lots, lots of graveyard actually with Poison. And he's the one banning graveyard tonight, so we'll have to see. We do see the Prince. Does this indicate a giant is going to be dropped down right at that bridge? No. Okay, Fireball comes in. That will severely damage the Electro as it takes out the Rascal Girl. So that Prince is going to be able to at least look at that Magic Archer, but no, get nowhere near. Yeah, but TNT only used uh, two cards so far. There's Dark Prince as well. And this smells more and more like the usual Golem we see for 2v2. It's going to be a very heavy one if actually TNT was willing to use that. He is the kind of player who, I mean, double print giant is probably more likely. That's yeah. going back a while, though. There's been quite a few balance changes since then. But TNT, for, there we go. There's the giant. From what I've heard, he likes to play meta decks. Oh, oh man, but there's the P.E.K.K.A. right after. So that giant will be very weak in this game. So let's see if that giant comes out anymore, because I think it's basically not going to be too far for him. Even with the P.E.K.K.A., the Giant still gets the value of just being a meat shield. Um, that's what you kind of want him to do at this point. You want him to just tank up and let your Princes do all the damage, but P.E.K.K.A. does take him out very, very, very quickly. And we see the Magic Archer just doesn't have the angle there. That now lock actually pushed him into yeah, an angle Just one shot, but he will get more out of this tower straight on. There's a fireball, but he's very low on the elixir, as you can tell. That's why TNT plays bridge spam to Prince. There's not too many of a tool. He just has to put something down. Yeah, the Royal Ghost does get down, but the actually Prince connects. actually connects. The tower. 3-3. <laughs> really Poking right through the Ghost. Doesn't even care. Just understanding the opponent's elixir that he has a massive lead. It's quite rare to see that Prince is spammed in the bridge alone. Oh, and TNT throwing out the good games already. I mean, I have to agree, within 30 seconds left, T uh, DL Stitch has all the work to do. And he's got all the hogs to take care of with that Dark Prince on the left. Still four did it. Yeah, with that lock, that puts it into fireball range on that tower. So all TNT has to do is hold on for his cycle. And he's been holding it for a long time. And there's the fireball. You're the first crown, and that's going to be a win for TNT. He's having some massive lead, and making sure that he has a perfect defense, even though the Giant was kind of countered by the P.E.K.K.A. It seemed like that was not really. Has TNT shaken off the first match blues? Will he be able to take this against the Stitch? Who, the Stitch has not played that many 1v1s at all. Yeah, Actually, close to none except any. for yeah, close to none except for the King of the Hill game, which is of course one v one, but not an actual one v one by himself, but best of three. Yeah, that's that's a very different ball game. Uh, the best of three, we see a lot of players who are really good at King of the Hill, but in a best of three, they just get beaten because there's a lot more strategy between behind your decks, right? Yes, the mind games is real. Mm. Just having a single game. <laughs> <laughs> this game having a single game for King of the Hill, but it's just not the same format for the players to play. Seems like both players has has brought a different deck into the second game. See this Spirit Goblins already. Well, it could be what? anything. I mean, Mega Minion is in like a lot of decks. Spear Goblin and Zapper in a lot of decks. I mean, we can't really call, but oh, <laughs> Dia Stitch has an idea. I, I know, think with he that, knows. With that Zap, he's got an idea. He knows what this deck is. Mm -hmm. That's clearly what that meant, right? Or does it mean <laughs> that TNT has woken up the inner beast from Dia Stitch by that Zap? Maybe TNT, yeah, maybe he's poked a bit too much with these emotes and Dia Stitch is angry. Oh, TNT did 56 more damage. And he's certainly winning until now. <laughs> until anything's dropped, we're looking for that double elixir mark. Did he bring that s something heavy of a push once again? The giant. Giant would be good in this situation. Golem sometimes is a little too slow, especially when we have a base trade, base race. But the bats here, and the night, which obviously that means it's Golem go time. But there is the giant, the lumberjack behind. 
bats as well. Prince on the defense choosing to defend here is very interesting because usually we just see all ins at this point. And it looks as though TNT has the advantage after round one of these engagements. Lightly, Golem placed all the way on the back when the Giant is actually placed Beautiful onto the bridge. Tornado, though. So that's going to delay a little bit, but the Golem is not going to be not going to have the perfect pair. Nightwish already onto the left. Yeah, but that fireball did so much work. And a Tesla, that is not good so, news. So Sparky all the way into the uh, Golem. Sparky. Trying to lead it, but it's going to get to the tower. Sparky has a 100% win ratio in Clash Royale League Asia. Will it continue now? We're going to see. So that will be the deleted Golem. And it doesn't really matter. The Baby Dragon is in range of the Princess. Lumberjack gets one hit, and now we see the Giant and the Sparky, the Bat Summon in the back. Look at the damage done there. Will the Mega Minion be able to finish it before he reloads? No, it hits the Night Witch and the Giant now. No going down hit. on the tower. And wow! That's gonna be the game. Tornado pulls, but he still had the Fireball and he 